Hey YouTube friends, it's your boy Alex Ortiz back with another video on my high boxer 118 scale monster truck. So I finally did it guys. I put not the body, the hard body onto the high boxing chassis and it's dark out so that's why I have to have a little light on and everything to show you um let's do this in this I don't know it's it just a little a little bling a little drip for it so I can find some pop up parts a little pop up parts for it which I am like on the search for like every day now but until then, this is what we got. Nice snug fit. I had to do a little fabrication as far as the body was concerned, and I had to swap out my body post, my factory body post for this trunk, which is these right here, for my 110 scale drift car. My I have a um, XC RC drift star 110 scale drift car that right now isn't running because I need a new battery and charger but other than that the drift car works great but that's another video yeah so these wouldn't work um, I couldn't get it lined up right and I mean I think it's just too much it's too thick and everything just doesn't you know go up in there and it, it would have been a pain in the butt then in the back with the recessed bed which I thought I was going to have to cut out this would, wouldn't have worked well either so um, I was on my way to doing velcro which I really don't like doing I really like doing body clips um, I'm a big fan of like the, that's, you know, like the old school look of the RC most you know velcro is okay I don't knock anybody else with velcro but as far as me I don't like it so um, some cars out some, some body mounts where I'll, I'll have to use velcro like my FJ Cruiser the, that little one that little 124 scale crawler I have to use velcro screws for that guy so if I absolutely have to do it then I'll do it you know but yeah so this is what this is I had to cut out the middle part of the bumper right there of the truck as you can see uh, actually I cut off the whole bumper and because I didn't think the whole bumper was you no know, well I knew the whole bumper wasn't going to work with this bumper so I just cut off that bumper but then I saw that you know I could still use the end parts right here so I just cut off the ends and hot glued them onto there um, the light now the, the decals right here um, I don't know if you guys remember me talking about this one of my other videos but I, the, the decals were just coming off I mean the, everything was coming off so what I did was I put super glue on the back of the decals and then glued them down all of the light the headlights and the tail lights then after that I let it dry and I went over it with some clear coat fair enough polished clear coat and now guys what that does is it and I went around the edges and if when you go around the edges with the glue and the clear coat you seal that decal and pretty much so it's waterproof so if you splash through mud or water or whatever or it rains while you're out rolling around you never have to worry about those decals coming off I've had I did that and I've had decals last for a year I mean for the whole life of the body of the truck pretty much so I stand by that um, yeah I put the little bling down there like I said it's just I don't know I did just for looks there's nothing no flexibility or anything like that it's just plastic and it just like the way it looked um, left the spot right there for the on and off switch now I had to put some little spacers right here to fill it in, fill in the gaps because 
it was too much showing right there so as you see it's not like all the way down because I wanted it to breathe especially on this side where the motor and uh, you know the uh, speed you know controller is and everything so I let the vent it right there for, more, from, for the most part uh, I mean it's got a lot of air in it but it does have as much air as this old body you know this old body is like flimsy and everything so but yeah guys and what makes it so good is that I have another body original body coming it's coming from China but um, I do have another body coming so that is gonna be I'm gonna do something with that body and that's I think it's gonna be like what I really do stunts with and this is just gonna be my nice little rolling around beach body <laughs> you know trailer body whatever um, but yeah so that's it guys um I haven't seen anybody else do this with their high boxing monster truck, so I guess I'm the first one to do it. Um, next are going to be the lights that I got. Um, I'm going to install those. See how I can set those guys up and wait for my light grill, my light bar right to go right here. I have that coming from eBay. It should be on its way. What well, is on its way? That's on its way. Um, I have new shocks on the way and I have new wheels on the way. So yeah. So guys stay tuned. It's this is turned out to be a little nice little show truck here. Uh, I didn't want to have a black truck, but I guess I since I've got you know like a little wheels coming. Um I guess I'll just keep it keep it black and just you know do some shiny like aluminum chrome looking accents or whatever to bring out that black but other than that I'm pretty pleased with the guys um that is not perfect or anything like that but it looks, it looks pretty good yeah so thanks guys for watching for tuning in and stay tuned for more updates and more mods <laughs> and I'll get some running video some run yes I'll get some running time in with this too so you guys can see how it looks while you know with the body on it while it's rolling in motion. Alrighty guys thanks for tuning in as always be safe and peace